Pressure. Pressure is defined as the force per unit area. We can write the equation of the pressure as P equals F is divided by A. Where P is the pressure in Newton per meter squared or Pascal. F is the force in Newton. A is the area in meter squared. Pressure of a solid object on the contact surface area. A cuboid solid has dimensions as 3 meters, 2 meters, and 5 meters. It laying on the contact surface, and its weight of 500 newtons exerts on the contact surface area of 3 meters by 2 meters. The pressure can calculated using force divided by area. The force is weight of the cuboid. So, the pressure is 500 divided by 3 times 2. The result equals 83 Pascal. The same cuboid solid is laying on the contact surface. Its weight of 500 newtons exerts on the contact surface area of 3 meters by 5 meters. So, the pressure is 500 divided by 3 times 5, which equals 33 Pascal. The same cuboid solid is laying on the contact surface, and its weight of 500 newtons exerts on the contact surface area of 2 meters by 5 meters. So, the pressure is 500 divided by 2 times 5, which equals 50 Pascal. We can conclude the minimum pressure is 33 Pascals, when the largest contact area, while force remains the same. And the maximum pressure is 83 Pascals, when the smallest contact area, while force remains the same. From this information, we can conclude that the pressure increases as the contact area decreases while the force remains the same. In the opposite way, the pressure increases as the force increases while the contact area remains the same. An application of pressure in everyday life is when large pressure is due to the small area. For example, the spikes on soccer shoes reduce the area of contact. This increases the pressure, providing the soccer players with a better grip on the ground. Knives, scissors and saws are all used to cut objects, because they have sharp edges that create a small area of contact. Resulting in s high pressure that helps to cut the objects easier. The shovel's sharp edge creates a small area of contact with the ground. Resulting in a high pressure that helps to dig the soil easier. An application of pressure in everyday life is when small pressure, due to the large area, is present. For example, a wooden plank increases the surface area of contact with the soft ground, which reduces the pressure and prevent the wheelbarrow from sinking on the soft ground. The wider shoulder pad has a large area, which reduces the pressure that acts on the shoulder. The elephant and the polar bear have big feet which creates a large surface area of contact with the soft ground or snow. This reduces the pressure, so they do not sink too deeply. Pressure in a liquid. Pressure in a liquid act on an object in all directions. The pressure is higher at the greater depths in the liquid, resulting in a higher force acting on an object compared to shallower depths. Pressure decreases as the object rises through the liquid. The equation of pressure in a liquid is P equals rho g h, where P is pressure in newtons per meter squared or pascals. Rho is the density in kilograms per cubic meter. G is the acceleration due to gravity, equal to 9.8 meters per second squared. H is the depth in meters. We can prove this formula. If the container is filled with a liquid, the pressure in the liquid at the bottom of the tank is the force divided by the base area. The force is the weight of a liquid, which is equal to the mass of the liquid multiplied by gravity. The mass of the liquid is density of liquid multiplied by the volume of the container. The volume of the container is equal the depth multiplied by the base area. So, the pressure at the bottom is equal to F over A. By substituting the force, F, with W equals, M, G. Substituting the mass, M, with Rho, V. 
and substituting the volume, V, with, H, A. We can derive the equation P equals, rho, G, H. We can conclude from this equation, that the pressure in a liquid depends on the density of a liquid and the depth in a liquid. Consider two container filled the same liquid, and having the same depth, as shown. The pressure at the bottom of the liquid in both containers, is the same, because the liquid has the same density and depth. It is not affected by the size of the containers. The container has three holes labeled as A, B, and C, which cause the liquid to flow out of the container. The liquid flows out of the container at point C further than B and A, because point C experiences a higher pressure due to its greater depth. Conversely, the liquid flows out from point A over the shortest distance, because point A is shallower and has the lowest pressure. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, and leave a positive comment. Your support will help me to continue making videos and encourage me to create new content. Thank you.